on our back back chat oh here we go hey i got me some rough chips here. yeah no fan it's hot as fuck how's everybody feeling y'all good solid it, i'm great sore. Yeah, yeah, sore. Yeah, sore. Yeah, sore. Sore. all right schmidt get better at your <laughs> your bomb tech shit what the fuck man no that's bullshit hey listen <laughs> lieutenant this is all schmidt's fault i got a schmidt picture said of... that he defused it and it went boom it's all schmidt's I fault defu i defused that goddamn bomb <laughs> i got a picture of it diffused hey oh thank this is you. bullshit all right so oh, a go. couple things here um Peter. number one good uh, to all the units that were involved in the chase prior good shit you guys were on these sons of bitches that's that's why they had to result to ending up shooting you guys is because they knew that they weren't getting away all right so um quality job chasing uh, i wasn't there but lt filled me in and told me you guys were holding it the fuck down so oh, good yeah. shit um listen right. listen the, when, when, it, when it comes to, to these gunfights right it we can critique and, and change and talk about every little fucking thing that each and every single person could have done better. When in reality, like, it just, for those who weren't around yesterday for the meeting, it comes down to this. Okay? And me and the commissioner are, and, and our high commander are very in, uh, in understanding when it comes to gunfights. Like, guys, we have to understand that these criminals have been doing this kind of stuff, pretty much all of them, for a very long time together. Their synergy, their comms, their whatever. They've done this same strat, these same strats that we're running into time and time and time again for months, years, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, when we are rolling up to these scenes, we have mm. to make it our fucking mission to group and then to push. Okay. You aren't going to be able to just roll in there by yourself and change the outcome of something. It, it, I, I don't, I can't, I don't have superpowers. I don't think any of you do. And if you do, I'm pissed. I haven't figured that out yet, but none of us are Superman and none of us are the best uh, wild west gun that has ever been seen in the state of Los Santos. Even though some of you guys think that you are with that being said, we need to make it our fucking mission for when these kind mm. of situations happen to stage together and then roll in. Okay. Um, from what I understand, that's really the only negative takeaway from this. Like, guys, there can only be eight of us. By the time that we even rolled down there, there was already only five. And at that point, we just got picked off like chickens. All right? So, you know, if we're going to get in a fight with somebody, you guys all know this. If you're by yourself, you ain't got a damn chance in hell. But if you're with your brothers and sisters with the badge, you got somewhat of a chance. Carter, what's going on? Uh, I just want to add, especially in the 13 Alpha, that's a all hands on deck type of scenario where we will have the numbers advantage and we need to use that to our advantage. From what I understand, should have been a, Bravo. A, a 13 Alpha should not have been called for this. It should have been a 13 oh, Bravo. Correct. Um, correct. And I'm, I'll talk about that as well, just to be clear again. I thought so you get shot. The difference it's an between alpha. a 13 Alpha and a 13 Bravo is this. Let's say you're responding to a PDM and a job is, is going down, correct? Well, just because they lead you down into an alleyway or just because they lead you to an ambush doesn't instantly make it a 13 alpha. Okay. Mm. If, if they're fleeing from you, there's, there's build up to this where it's a job, so on and so forth. That is a 13 Bravo. That is where the maximum eight come into play. The difference between that and a 13 alpha is let's say that somebody calls you on top of a hill to have a conversation. You let a higher up know you're going up there to go and talk to them or something like that. Next thing you know, it's a dude who looks like he's part of a cartel or a gang member who looks like it's a stage thing to where they're trying to take your life from you and cut your fucking head off. They stab you in the chest, 13 alpha. That's the difference, right? Hmm. Is context and build up. And when it comes to just a regular job, you're That's pretty much never going to be on a 13 alpha. But if it's something along the lines of a serial killer or a mafia member or a cartel leader or something, where it is a stage situation that you just rolled into unknowingly getting absolutely obliterated that's whenever a 13 alpha is to be called are we very clear on that yes sir yes sir uh, all right wonderful um last thing before lt and corp will talk to you guys um after uh tsunami we're gonna be everyone is we're gonna be working on our staging and we're gonna be working on gunfights so 
hey, you guys should be excited. We're going to be shooting the fuck out of each other. All right. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. All right. But it's also going to be informational. And it's going to be instructive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get everybody working on those no, areas, working on pushing into areas together. We'll have five officers sitting in one location and eight officers pushing in to clear it. It's going to be a good time. I want it to be fun and it's going to be fun. So don't think of it as just, you know, oh man, I got to spend an hour doing some bullshit. It's not going to be that way. It's going to be an enjoyable time. More importantly, it's going to create synergy. All right. You so joining? Should after I? Tsunami, Should I if you guys would like to be part of it, I would really like for everyone to be there and as many people as we can have, but we're going to be running through these situations and I just could, I, could, I mean, I could, okay. but I was going to have a but I could yes, help on that. Yes, sir. Um, these main jobs, these, uh, you know, MEF runs, PDM heists, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Shut up, Jesus. why are they no, not on channel two? Because uh, if we go up to channel five, because these are these are calls where, you know, maybe the criminal has a lot to lose. Maybe it might be a possible shootout. It's hard to uh, mm -hmm. be in the middle of a shootout and click back to channel two, you know? Uh, absolutely. That That's something I was going to I was going to talk with some high command. I do agree with you. Um, I'm all for changing radio, right? I'm all for having people swap on radios and, and moving chases up like 24 sevens, robberies, you know, B and E's bullshit. Yo, Delhi with um, the primer for eight months. Big jobs, Thank you, Delhi. I, I appreciate you, bro. I agree with you. And I think uh, we need to make that adjustment to where PDM heists. I believe there was a heist last night that is was abnormal, right? Mm. There was some new last night. Stuff like that, the big jobs, I would like them to stay on radio too. Um, to be quite mm. honest with you, a big problem we have is a lot of officers just attach or, you know, for example, we'll have uh, an individual fleeing from a scene and we'll already have four officers attached to it. And a fifth officer will be listening, see a vehicle and then call it out. And then, you know, we still have four officers, but a fifth one is the is the reason we caught that guy. You know, that that's the main reason we're moving up channels just to mm, put it more even like if, if that makes sense. But going forward, I would like to make that change. I'll have a conversation with the chief and the commissioner and our high command, but I'm all for it. I do agree with you. Um, yes, and yeah, we'll have a conversation about that. I agree with uh, that as well. L LT, you have anything? Uh, just briefly, um, Kadumchuk was taking comms on air one. Uh, as she kept doing it, she got quicker and faster, better pacing. Uh, when she couldn't do it, the lead chase vehicles were hot on. I love it. Mm. Yeah, everything was good. We need I to love work on it. her volume, though. Something might be wrong with the radio up there. Oh, a little quiet. Yeah. Really, I heard it perfectly. Well, it's because she said it's right next to you. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I think uh, just to go on the back of that, uh, you know, we we can pick each other apart and we can point fingers at who did bad and stuff in these situations. A lot of the time, guys, we are going to be fighting at a disadvantage. That's just how it is, especially when you get led into the fucking tunnels. Don't beat yourself up about it. You know, no. this kind of shit happens. Yeah, no. Like, it, 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 this kind of stuff fucking happens. You know, and I'll be the first one to shove my foot mm. up your ass. But, mm. you know, from what I've already seen, it, it, this honestly wasn't bad at all. Like, we, mm. we could have had officers staged, but at the same time, it's the fucking tunnels, man. It's hard, you know? You guys want to so, see uh, peanut or I'm training man. after Tsunami Trap? Okay, go ahead, Corp. All right, so I do want to say the 80 or was cop training. Peanut or cop it training? Was actually, everybody was locked in. Great job on that. Um... The only thing that I could say that we uh, probably shouldn't have done is we, we had, we only had two units on the vehicle and then, uh, one of them broke off, which is what led us into, uh, being, uh, in a situation where we were, Both? when we were out. I mean, yeah, we could do the training and then search the peanut. Not, listen, I'm not going to say it was, uh, uh, the wrong call. Maybe at the time it probably shouldn't have happened, but that's, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Overall, I'm with the captain on this. I think it was, uh, it was good. Uh, we just need to work on that trickling in fact. I mean, this is one of those things that uh, the captain's going to try to work with us on after the storm, right? On how how we stage and collapse. Is, uh, is, yeah, what's up, Fearless? To do it. But uh, yeah, uh, great work, everybody. Yeah. We believe uh, in you. We believe we, in everybody here. Yeah, hey, firm. Um, we only got a little bit longer till tsunami, so you guys are good. But again, we'll have the meeting after tsunami, and then uh, we'll all just stay in here. We'll set up numbers and. and you know, uh, we'll have people switching back and forth on sides, but we're just going to do it in this city. We'll go to locations. Yo, thank you, Rio, down, Rio. Show the eight. Um, our main thing here is for officers to understand and to follow the leads of the command on scene, but also making sure that 
they're doing, you know, setting up in correct locations, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna try and get the commissioner around for us so he can watch and he can uh, help from a, a bird's eye view and we'll go over all that shit. But again, good job, we're cool, and uh, get back out there. We'll, we'll see you guys after shit on it. Okay. All right. All right, you wanna come with me? Also, Schmidt is a liar. He didn't defuse Not that it. bomb. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I fucking hate it here. Corporal. All right, Schmidt, prepare yourself. Come here. <laughs> Tired of me? You're so low, bro. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, nothing, 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 nothing. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll look at it. You okay, my friend? Yeah, you're like whispering, man. Oh, yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Grant, Grant. I'm gonna say something. I said, what the f? I said, hey, did you guys race you? <laughs> 